And with the short time that I have, I want to make sure that your questions are answered in a yes or no matter. Uh, this is the first oversight hearing we have had in the Justice Department in almost 15 months. You did not have a confirmation hearing, and you have not yet appeared for an oversight hearing. Yes or no? Yes or no? Congresswoman, I am the acting Yes attorney. or no? Have you appeared before an oversight hearing in the Congress? Congresswoman, I have not. It has been 10 years before. Witness will answer the question as asked, please. Uh, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, if the, if the Department of Inquiry, if, the, if he has, feels that a yes or no is appropriate, he'll answer in a yes or no. If he does not feel it's appropriate, he should be able to answer in, in the appropriate, as many Democrat administration officials have done before this committee before. This, the, that is unreal. The, the member has only five minutes, and if she... If you know, we've just discovered that we have a yes or yes no answer, amazing. she's entitled to it. I will not allow the witness to stall and waste members' time. Where were you when Ms. Lynch and Mr. Holder Chairman, were here? Will Mr. Question. Chairman, may I have my time restored? I think it was yes, at four you minutes. Yes, you may. Thank you. Again, uh, Mr. Attorney General, uh, the question is, did you have a confirmation hearing, and has it been more than 10 years since you testified before Congress? Uh, um, Congresswoman, Can the clock is, be restored? It, it was. I'm sorry, what was your... I, I don't know if your time's been restored or not. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Attorney General, we're not joking here, and your humor is not acceptable. Now, you are here because we have a constitutional duty to ask questions, and the Congress has the right to establish government rules. The rules are that you are here. So I need to ask the question, and I need to have my time restored so that you can behave appropriately. I will behave appropriately as a member of the Judiciary Committee. Uh, I'm asked a question. Did you have a confirmation hearing and have you not yet appeared for an oversight hearing? Congresswoman, I am an acting attorney general. I have been appointed according to the Vacancies Reform Act, and I have never appeared in front of Congress for any hearing, even when I was United States attorney. I'm asked for a yes or no answer. Is that? Um, let me, um, and so you've never appeared. Let me quickly uh, ask uh, a question. Uh, prior to the firing of former Attorney General Jeff Sessions, did you discuss or share your private opinions of the special counsel investigation with the chief of staff, Trump family members, and others? Yes or no? Uh, as I previously answered, Congresswoman. Yes or no, sir? As I previously answered, Congresswoman, I have not discussed. Yes or no? As I previously answered, Congresswoman, I have not discussed. And since you were appointed counsel. acting attorney general, did you discuss or share your private opinions with the special counsel? Again, the special counsel's investigation is an ongoing investigation, and I, don't, I have nothing more to say than what I've already said. So you are denying reports that you shared many one-on-one -on -one calls with President Trump and his then chief of staff, John Kelly, when Jeff Sessions was still attorney general? Again, Congressman, is there someone that provides you the basis for that question, or is that an anonymously sourced I am asking article? the question, sir. Answer the question, yes or no. Could you repeat the question, please? So you are denying the reports that you shared many one-on-one -on -one calls with President Trump and then his chief of staff, John Kelly? Are you denying that, yes or no? Congresswoman, as I've mentioned several times today in my opening statement and otherwise, yes or no. I'm not talking about the conversations that I've had with the President of the United States or his senior staff. Um, so that is a no? I don't think you can assume anything from that. Well, let me just uh, pursue on uh, my line of questioning. Um, since the investigation has secured numerous indictments, uh, I would like to pursue the line of uh, questioning with respect to um, your understanding of the Mueller investigation and the review that you've given. Have you given an extensive review? Congresswoman, I have been briefed on the special counsel's investigation. Do you believe the uh, involvement of the hostile foreign entities interfering with the uh, elections uh, is uh, more severe than the false representation of voter fraud in elections? Do you believe that a foreign uh, interference with the elections is more severe? Congresswoman, I think foreign interference in our election system in the United States is a very serious and ongoing concern. I also believe that voter fraud is a serious concern. 
After you left office, you pursued a series of other political offices, one of which was the United States Senate. Yes or no, if during the pursuit of that office, a hostile foreign power contacted you, contacted you to offer dirt on your opponent, which at the same time uh, included uh, other uh, candidates such as Steve King and now Senator Joni Ernst, would you have contacted the FBI? Congresswoman, I, I, I'm not here to yes address no. hypothetical questions, I, and I'm here for an oversight hearing. Uh, I don't believe, you know, I was very you unsuccessful have the in my Senate. responsibility of answering the question. Would you have contacted the FBI if you were asked to take dirt on your opponents? Congresswoman, if I was contacted by a foreign national or, or a foreign country when I was a candidate for the United States Senate, I would have most likely reached out to the FBI, but it didn't happen, so it's hard for me to answer your hypothetical. With respect to civil rights, um, you have not, under your jurisdiction, prosecuted one voting rights case. Is that correct? I'm the gentlelady has expired. The witness may answer the question. Congresswoman, in, in, just so I have a complete answer on this, we'll follow up in writing as to the voting rights uh, cases that we've done.